I'm Lenny Green, and it's a great day. It's always a great day in the neighborhood when somebody comes by. We have somebody that pulled up tonight. Man, this brother really needs no introduction because he's kind of already a vet in the game. Let, let's put it like this. Michigan, by way of the ATL, by way of The Voice, by the way of eight studio albums in, uh, his writing game is crazy, and he has a brand new album out called Next Chapter, and he is really on the next chapter. You're not going to believe this. Now, I can't say it like he says it, ladies. I can't. But I'm going to say my dude, Vito, is here. Vito's here. But Vito, I want you to tell them how you tell them. It's Vito, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and Lenny, what's popping, man? How you doing? Good to see you, baby. Always, brother, always, you man. Thank you for by. having me. I appreciate it immensely. Absolutely. I, I, I want to start off by saying how's life. I kind of have an idea how it is, but yeah. for the benefit of those, mm. and I mean benefit of the small portion of the millions yeah. that are not following you, right? Uh, bring me up to date, man. Man, life is great. Um, I just got married. You know, that was a beautiful thing. No, hold on. No, don't just pass that by, bro. Yeah, you got to let that I, marinate. I, I, I saw, yeah, yep. You let it marinate, marinate. Because guess what? He didn't only just get married. He got married on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. You got married... I got a lot of birdies to tell me stuff. Yeah. In Miami. Yeah, in Miami. Yeah. And you yeah. know, you know what we were all waiting for, right? Word. The tear to drop. The tear to drop. How many tears drop? A few of them <laughs> drop. I, I kind of went viral for it too, but it's all good. No, but you know what, brother? That that shows that first and foremost, mm. we as men, yeah, ladies, we have emotions. Absolutely. And yeah. we feel. I don't know what that feeling is like, though, brother. I yeah. haven't been married yet, so can, for the brothers like myself, yeah, who haven't been in that moment, mm. what? comes over you man it's just it's just i think that for me like a just clarity clarity came over me like clear direction on where i should be going and what i should be doing and who i should be doing it with um and that that's what you know getting married was for me it was one of those things where um i felt like this is you know something that i needed to do not just for myself but for my wife in, in to get closer to our Lord and Savior as well, for wow. my daughter to see these things, so she she know how how a man should operate when she gets of age to start dating. Like, I want I'm starting to set an example, you know. So that's how that's how I felt about it, brother. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. you man. You're setting the bar pretty high. Yeah. For not only the cats in your generation, word. For the older cats in my generation oh, baby, too. You know, you, you know gotta be inspiration to everybody. You do, you do, and it, and I feel that. There's no set age mm -mm, where all. you stop learning. Mm. And I'm learning from you. Yeah. Even though you're younger than me, yeah. I'm, I'm learning and we're absorbing this, man. But I'm so happy, brother, that you, you found the you. queen. Uh, you, I, you have a little girl, like I you do. said. She's four. And now you have, you married on the 14th. Yep. You got 14 cuts on next chapter Absol of the new album. Absolutely. What else 14 is coming, by the way? Ooh, I don't know. 14 babies? 14, uh, 13 more? 14 million. 14 million, I 14 like that. Billion. No. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> no, um, 14, you know, 14 reasons, even more reasons for me to just keep going. You know, getting married was one of them. My daughter's another. Um, like I said, our Lord and Savior is another. Like my team, it's just so many reasons for me to keep going. That's why I named the next chapter. This is my, this is the next chapter of my life. I've had fun. I've had so much fun uh, with these, with these seven albums, these eight albums that I've done. It's like, okay, now. This is a next chapter. This is another side of Vito I want to show the fans. I want to just let them into my world just a little bit more now. Because I never really used to, you know, just blast and post my, my, my girl all up like that. Right. And it was just, that was more so for me, just like, this is mine. I'm keeping this to myself. I know that's right. I don't need none of y'all to be my on no weird life. stuff in my yeah. personal life. So it's like, and now it's like, we married now, I bet. Now let me, let me let y'all see what my family is. Let me let y'all see who is the inspiration behind these great R&B love records that I've been putting out. Voila, here she is. And I was wondering where the inspiration came yeah, from because, yeah. man, th this brother is a beast with the pen. Thank you, thank and you. And, you know, I know you observed a lot of producers over the years, yeah. a lot of writers over the years. What writing producer mm. stands out? Old school first. Old school. Ooh, I got to go with... Man, it's, I, you know, I, I love... Um, I love Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. I love them. Okay. I also got to give it to Babyface. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, it's just so many of them, man. So that's why, though these these guys really understood what it was to make an R&B record, what it, what it what it meant to, you know, take an experience and put it in the record. Like these guys are behind the scenes, man. You got to start giving people behind the scenes the, yeah, the, their flowers and love that they that they that they deserve because you wouldn't love these artists 
if it wasn't for these writers and producers. And you know see, so he's I mean? speaking from experience because he was one of those cats. Yeah. And now he's risen to the forefront. Absolutely. Look, next chapter is the brand new album that's out right now. And you cannot imagine yeah. if you haven't heard it yet. Check it out. What he has, what you have done to this album. Now, mm. I like how you have clean, yeah, and you got explicit. Explicit. Oh, absolutely. You got to be able to listen. You know, because I know I got some church folk that won't listen to it. You know, they can't, they can't hear all that. You know, that, that stuff. That. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, absolutely. I think that's that's important. I, I try to try to straddle that fence of not being too vulgar, not being too explicit to get my point across. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I still got to stay true to me. No, you real know, true. Stay true to myself. So no, I understand. Him. You know. So this album meant a lot to you. You said this is a new chapter in your yeah. life, but it, it also meant prosperity. Yeah. And a few other things. Yep. In what in what regard? Oh man, like I just you know. As a young man, R and B singer, you know, heartthrob. Okay. I let it. I had to let all that go. Okay. You know, I, I'm married now. Yeah. I, I made a decision to be to be devoted and, and and to be for one woman and one woman only, and that takes a lot. So, I hear a lot of brothers say this, and I gotta know because it hasn't happened to me. I don't think. Ooh. Did you know, she was the one? And when you did, when did you find out? Like how deep in did you know? Well. Um, yes, I knew she was the one probably about, I would say, well, I would say this, I've, I've had a feeling that she was the one maybe three, okay. four years in, okay. and I knew she was the one I would marry maybe like six, seven years in. I knew that, like I'd had that, wow. but I'm like, okay, I'm still, you know me, I'm young, I was young, we yeah. were young, we both were like, you know, moving and doing our thing, but I was just like, I'm going to wait it out, wait it out, wait it out, wait it out, you know? She ain't tripping. I ain't tripping. <laughs> so it's like, we kicking it. And then we had our daughter. Mm. You know, and it was now, it was like, okay, what are we doing? We married, we, like, we have a daughter now. She's now yeah. four years old. Yeah. I got to start setting an example. Yeah. And I also got to make an honest woman out of this woman because mm. she's an amazing person and she deserves it. She deserves some some real security. You know what I mean? Like, and that was what it was for me. So, yeah, I knew I knew for, that she would be the one three four years, but I absolutely knew maybe like six seven years. Wow. Yeah. You said a lot of the inspiration for your writing comes from yeah. this special lady that's in your life. Absolutely. Until the end of time, spinning on you. Let's talk about that. Spin on you. I spin on her a lot, <laughs> a lot. Now <laughs> break it down for her, OG. Well, spin on you is it's kind of for me. It's like a double triple entendre. So it's like spin on you is like when something is good, you want it again. You want to spin the block. Gotcha. You know, you gotta spin the block and see what you missed. Right? Don't get it twisted because sometimes you can spend a block on something that God was trying to Ooh. get you away from too. And he now. will so test. He, will, he test. will test you. So spend the block on you. Um, and another one is spend on you. Spend some money on you. You know, I'm gonna splurge on you, baby. Take you shopping. You deserve it. Get you some Gucci, some Prada, some Louis, some Chanel. You know, whatever. Um, and the oh. third one is um, spend some time. Okay. You know, I just want to spend some time with Quality you. Quality time. We pull up, spend some time, watch a movie. That's just and that's just that was my that was my thought process going into the song. Spend on you. So it was when people listen to it. You can, however you take it, you can't be wrong. I spoke about you being one of those cats behind the scenes, working with so many. You wrote yeah. for so many. You wrote for Chris. Yeah. You know, Chris kind of kind of took you underneath his wing yeah. and, and helped out a great deal. Yeah. Um, and for you to be on desktop. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Tiny desk. Tiny yeah, desk. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was that was yeah. a wonderful platform. Nah, man. it was, man. It was really really dope for Usher to uh, bring me in on that because it was like so many guys, man, that he could have. Called him and like, hey, yo, I'm doing Tiny mm -hmm. Desk. Um, but he called myself and my brother Eric Bellinger. Yes. And it was one of those, man, it was one of those moments where you had to be ready. Because we, we were perform we were rehearsing for um, Pharrell's Something in the Water Festival in D.C. Okay. That he, I think he does it. I forget how, many, how often he does it. But we were rehearsing for that. So the Tiny Desk was, was an absolute, um, just threw us in the, in the fire. We didn't know anything about Tiny Desk until the day of. So he was like, yo, oh, by the way, before we go do this, <laughs> before we go do this festival, before we do this festival, we're gonna stop it. by Tiny Desk real quick and do this performance. I'm like, yo, huh? We me and Eric was totally confused. But come on, man. Yeah. You got they say you have to you gotta stay be ready, ready right? stay ready. Like, all time. You gotta stay ready. And Eric and I was like, man, listen, we can't say no. no. You, we gotta we gotta go do it, yes. man. Like so but what that did for me was it 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 showed me that I still had the ability to adapt to what I, what I was already privy to growing up as being in the choir, singing, background, whatever the case may be. So that what it did, it was like, oh man, okay, now I have to, I have to humble myself and become this background singer. Yeah. But not only just a background singer, a background singer for Usher. 
That's a whole level. That's a whole different type of ball game. No doubt. And what it also did was me for just just saw how um, amazing he was to even share his light for up and up and coming artists like myself and Eric. So, you know, big shouts out to him. He's the living a living legend, man. For him to do that, could have called anybody, literally, anybody, but he called us. You know, Eric Bellinger was just on the show not too long ago. Yeah, that's my guy. You and that brother surprised Mrs. Yeah. At the reception. Yeah. Some people are inquiring, like, they, they want to know where that song that y'all performed for her. Yeah. Is it available? Energy as featuring Eric Bellinger is out now. That's, that's a song that actually I perform on my tour and they go crazy. And what I do sometimes is I might... I might call Eric and be like, yo, we in the city, yo, we'll pop out and do like oh, a yeah. surprise performance every single time. You're like, yeah, I'll be there. And the, that crowd goes crazy. They go crazy. You have that gift, man. man. You know, I mean, not everybody has that gift in just writing. I mean, you know, it's just, I mean, I, I think the writing was, has always been a, a gift and talent, but I think what shaped that talent and gift is, um, you know, trials and tribulations, things you go through in life, things you have something to talk about, yeah. you know, so. Um, that's why I always say I would never change the way I was raised and what I saw Brooke coming up as a younger because it made me who I am. You know, this is, you know, I couldn't, I, when you look at it, I, I could literally come from nothing to this. Yeah. If you, if you really know where I come from, like, you know, like he, he really worked his butt off to get, to get here. So, yeah. A lot of people think it just happens nah, yeah. and it doesn't happen. It's levels to it. Absolutely. It's levels to it. It's true. It's, you know, stairs, it's, it's. Mountains, valleys, hills, <laughs> whatever, you, whatever, it, it's something. So, but at the end of the day, you have to stay, stay ten toes down, stay diligent, man, to keep moving forward. When you were on The Voice, yeah, talk to me about that. Scariest time of my life. No way. Yeah, it was scary. <laughs> How so? Why? Well, I mean, well, a lot of people don't know. Like the blind audition is probably like, that's like the last. That's the last audition you have to do. To you, you got to do three, four, five auditions Before you to get, get to that. Wow. People don't know that I got sent home within within that process the first time. They sent me to the crib like, ah, oh, no, nah, we good. Nah. Then they called you back. Then they called me back. They said, <laughs> hey, we've been watching your <laughs> we've been watching your progress. We've been watching you do your thing. Um, if you want to fly you out to L.A., you want to to the executive auditions, which was the blind auditions. I'm like, what? Y'all just told me two months ago that you know y'all was good on me. Cool. And I was like, I just entertained it. I'm like, all right, whatever, cool. And when y'all send a confirmation and hotel flights, I, I believe it. About an hour later, I got the email with the confirmation flights and hotel. I'm like, wow. Oh, serious. So fast forward, fly out to LA, um, do the blind auditions. Still, I'm on edge because I'm singing and nobody had turned around yet. <sighs> you know, I think they give you like right. a minute and 30 seconds. I mean, I'm at, I've already, I already been singing for like a whole minute. Ain't nobody turned around. But the yet. audience like, is there, though. The audience was there. So yeah. are you are you concentrating obviously yeah. on your performance? But are you yeah. concentrating on who turns that chair around? I'm I'm concentrating on trying to hit the biggest note, <laughs> trying to make sure I'm on pitch. Like that way, so I don't sound bad. Yeah. So I have a better chance somebody turn around. And I mean, we get past them. I, I'm in my head. I see a minute, minute five. Wow. Minute ten. And then Usher hit the button and turned around. I was like, oh my goodness. That, like, so my anxiety cool. cooled down. Yeah. I was like, okay, cool, bet. I'm on the show. Uh, but up until then, I was a hot mess. I'm talking about nerves through the roof, shaking. Like Sounds like a moment you'll never, you know, I'll ever never forget. forget. Never forget that well, moment, ever. Now watch you put somebody else through that. Absolutely. You're going to put somebody else through that <laughs> you too. Pass it. Yeah. Look, next chapter is the brand new album. It's yeah. available now. And you, before I let you go, you have a, a dear brother yeah. who's so gifted on that. Yeah. Little Timmy is on this with you, man. That's my dog, man. That's my dog, man. He's a cool dude, yeah. gifted, talented brother, bringing a little edge, a little different Absolutely. twist to what you're doing. Yeah, man, I like Little Timmy, man. Big shots out to him and everything that he's doing. Um, I, I hit him. We actually, what's funny is this record was meant to be a Christmas record. No. Because we were like this was around Christmas and we was like yeah we got to put something out for Christmas ain't nobody you know we never do that you know we never did it like during Christmas season so we were like all right, whatever let's do it so I put that record I put a record out called uh, Pull Over and then I did a record the, the, the No Worries record and the whole thing going into it was like let's create a record let's create a Christmas record and then we start creating a Christmas wow. record and it didn't sound nothing like a Christmas record it was like hey man this is still fire let's put it out so that's how it happened. It came out, he loved it, he put it, he laced it, did his thing to it, and um, it ended up going on next chapter. 
Next chapter, yeah. this man is on the next chapter. He's on several chapters moving forward, brother. Yeah, I will be watching you very, very closely as man, you continue please. to grow and blossom, man. But thank you for stopping by and letting me Later. get on the bandwagon, brother. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate you. God brother. bless always. Vito, baby. Yes, sir. Watch out. Fire. Dropping it. Easy. Next chapter is available. You don't want to miss out on it. Yeah.